One of the companies in focus in recent months is SoftBank. It is the most exciting investment company out there, marching on the technology battlefield. But its recent public blunder of WeWork investment has cost itself a lot more than just $10 billion. It cast clouds of doubt over the entire global technology sector, and it has hurt SoftBank's reputation, which was built upon decades of successful experiences. A lot of opinions have been laid out by many competent observers in the past month following WeWork saga, so I don't want to add my share of noise to the market of opinions. What I want to do instead is to spell out some facts that capture the sense of what kind of company SoftBank is. I want to set the tone of this video with the story of SoftBank and Didi, the Uber of China. SoftBank has invested in almost all ride-hailing companies, 6 billion in Didi, 7.6 billion in Uber, around 3 billion in Grab, and more in other parts of the world. But the aggressiveness of SoftBank's investment is understated. Rumor has it that when SoftBank decided to invest in Didi, Didi did not need that much money. Its founder Chen Wei told Masasan exactly that, and the reply was, if you do not take my money, I will invest all of it in your competitors. And for an industry as competitive and capital intensive as ride hailing, money is everything. Chen Wei knew he must take the money, so he did. Another related example is Grab, the Uber of Southeast Asia. It is very hard for a founder to let go of the control of his own company, but if you look at the company structure of Grab, it is no longer majority owned by its two founders and rather, it's owned 60% by SoftBank. Recently, SoftBank has appointed its own employee to be the president of Grab, publicly declaring its immovable role in the company. With SoftBank's stake in Uber, Lyft, Didi and so on, it is not an exaggeration to say that SoftBank is the puppet master behind the industry and its inflated valuations. Although SoftBank is making huge investments in ride-hailing companies, its success mostly came from previous investments in Alibaba. SoftBank is brilliant in that when it invests in a company, it holds its position for a long time. This not only shows Masasan's investment strategy of focusing on the value, it also made over $100 billion for SoftBank. With just $20 million invested in Alibaba, SoftBank now owns one-fifth of the company at $500 billion valuation. If SoftBank were like any other profit-driven investors, it would have sold the stake a long time ago making much less. But SoftBank is exceptional. It invests only in company that it believes will transform the future. SoftBank is bold, it is rich, and it's dedicated. But this has also been its biggest weakness in the past few years because the risk of failure is huge, just like how its WeWork investment has turned out to be. No matter how rich SoftBank is, it cannot throw away tens of billions of dollars. SoftBank now says it has invested $18.5 billion into WeWork, a company that's worth about $4 billion. That's not how business works. Secondly, even if SoftBank is right in its investment, its timing might still be bad. No one questions SoftBank's commitment in the future, it has its battle wound to show for it. But the timing couldn't be worse. The US-China trade war is the backdrop upon which all events are being unfolded. This means high cost to raising capital. SoftBank has also made quite a few unconventionally huge investments. ARM acquisition for $32 billion and Sprint for $20 billion. Both investments are yet to be judged, but it's definitely a bad timing to have so much money, 50 billion in total invested in companies that will take a very long time to recover the cost of investments. Among these $50 billion acquisition, none has made money for SoftBank so far. Lastly, I have to say that Masasan still is one of the most brilliant entrepreneurs in our age. We still remember Masayoshi doubling down on iPhone when iPhones were still a secret, making millions being the exclusive distributor of iPhones in Japan. We remember Masasan investing in Alibaba and Yahoo when both companies are in a very early stage, committing his vision and eventually proven right in the most lucrative manner. Arguably two of the biggest investment returns in the age of the internet. We also remember how Masasan's bold acquisition of Sprint, which is now bearing fruits, merging with T-Mobile. Masayoshi is proud of his vision and his keen sense of the future, as he should be. And we should not underestimate his determination to do it again in the future. It is my belief that history has not yet made a judgment on SoftBank and its vision fund. It will take several decades to understand the future of technology. As tech lovers who firmly believe in the future of tech, 
one must be optimistic and one must believe in the transformative nature of technology. Therefore, SoftBank's WeWork problem must be a setback, a not so tiny bump on the road. But eventually, with determination and hard work, SoftBank will be there. Two points I want to summarize at the end of the video. First of all, I think it's stupid to to send, I think, a really bad message for our next generation of entrepreneurs that if you can fake it, just like Adam Newman, you will be rewarded. I think SoftBank probably should have backed out and should not give Adam Newman and another over $1 billion to somehow incentivize him to run the company even better. I have no idea how he can be of value for the company going forward. That's my first point. The second point is that all that said about SoftBank, I still believe that Masayoshi Son is a brilliant investor. And I think he is one of the rare investors out there who's putting a lot of risk on the table, who puts money where his mouth is. He believes in technology and he puts billions of dollars into what he believes in. It is admirable to say the least and I think it will give benefits for SoftBank going forward. So um, that's it for today. If you love technology analysis like this one, follow me at Lay Creatives on Twitter and Instagram. I love talking to you guys over there. So I'll see you guys there.